Hey YouTube, it's Abby again. Today I'm going to show you how I play the guitar with only five fingers. But Abby, how do you do stuff? Like, because you only have one arm. A lot of people have asked me how I play guitar. And a few of you who are maybe missing fingers or a hand have asked me if I can show you because you would like to also learn. So I am very happy to do that today. Also check out this guy's channel. He is missing a hand and he plays guitar really well. It might be helpful to you as well. Before I start playing, I will show you how I use the pick getup that I made. When I first wanted to learn, I got on YouTube and started taking lessons on Justin Sanderco's channel, and that's pretty much all I did. I just watched his videos and uh, learned slowly and got to the point where I could play some chords and a few other little, little things. So I'm going to show you from start to finish how I make this pick that I use. It's not a real pick. I tried a real pick at first, but it was too stiff. What I needed to do was figure out how to make something that mimicked the movement of a wrist. So I've come up with the most like primitive, awful looking thing, but it works. And that's basically this. This is um, duct tape wrapped around itself thick enough to move along the strings and um, get a decent tone and get enough volume, but thin enough around where it moves. So I'm going to show you exactly how I did that, start to finish. Listen, there's going to be a lot of pulled out arm hair if you do it this way. Just a fact. I start off by just putting a strip here and bring it around. Use your knee if you have to. I use my knee a lot in my life for things. Bring it around like this, and what you're starting to see, don't go too tight because it'll cut off your circulation and you don't want to lose any more of that arm. I have space here that um, I'm not pressing down, but that's for a reason. Stop at about this point the second time through and start forming where I would kind of use a pick. Honestly, it takes practice. It took me probably like three or four different times just making different prototypes. You cannot call a duct tape formation of anything, a prototype, but I don't have any other word right now. So pinch this part right here together, and then you can press down the top. What I'm starting to form as I go back around one more time is the pick part, the part that's gonna kind of protrude from my arm and go across the strings. Reinforce that by coming back around over it. Be loose with the duct tape here and continue to make that shape like that. So now you can start to see there's more of a pick type thing. And then now we'll do it one more time. Again, this is not probably not the best method for this. There might be some one-handed guitarists out there just like with their hair falling out right now if they're watching like, oh my gosh, I can't believe she's telling the world to do it like this. But hey, if none of you try this, maybe it's, this will give you some inspiration to try something else. But this has worked for me. I did this quickly, and, but that's the general idea. So now I can pick up the guitar and play it a little bit. So this one, yeah, this will, this will work okay for now. I did that quickly so it's not going to be, it doesn't sound as great as um, I'd like it to. So let me get the one that I've spent more time on and tried to make really work well for me. I never pull this off and just throw it away. I mean, obviously it takes time to make it sound better. I keep this, but what I do to just keep it tight have, after I'm done playing is I just put another piece of duct tape around this part. So it'll just hold this part on. This is kind of my permanent pick. So what I'll do right now is just put this one on and then I'll show you how I play. Okay, so now it's on. Let me grab my guitar. So now it pretty much just goes like this. I make the chord shapes with my fingers and I strum with my arm. C chord, G chord, stuff like that. I won't play a whole song or anything for you, but I did do a song cover a few years back, so you can watch that if you'd like. But for now, I'll just show you a few things. I'll admit I don't know um, a lot of stuff on the guitar. I know enough to be able to pick up a chord sheet and play it pretty well. There's this one Keith Urban song that I that has a really cool guitar part and I was like, ooh, I want to try to learn that. And I think that's probably the coolest thing I can play on guitar, so I'll go ahead and play it for you right now.
I'll admit, I'm better at drums than guitar, but I do love playing the guitar when I get a chance to pick it up. For those of you wanting to learn, I would recommend a smaller body guitar. For me, um, a smaller body guitar allows me to get my arm over the front of the guitar and strum all the strings and have better control. So that's about it. For those of you needing a little help getting started on a five finger guitar, I hope this helped you. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you get a chance to check out the rest of my channel and of course, don't forget to subscribe.